How come you're not sitting wherever you were sitting when you did the the stream on? Uh, well, like two were, seconds ago. No, who were you on that I said you look really good in? Oh, oh pleasure nerd. Yeah, yeah. Wherever you were, that lighting you you looked super super good. Yeah, it was the library. Oh, uh, you were at the library. Yeah, and it like they have. Uh, so it was this little conference room, um, and they've got these great big windows. So it was just like all natural lighting. Oh, you looked great in there. Well, let me get some more fucking natural lighting. I look even worse. Perfect. <laughs> I am using my dice that you can't see because the thing's going to fly. Oh, I kind of see it. My dice that I got from winning the uh, Swords and Lesbians Thirsty Sword uh, Lesbians. Stream. What? Thirsty, Thirsty Sword, Sword lesbians. lesbians, right? Yeah. From this stream. Moving on. So, Tim, you want to give us the recap since you know everything, apparently? You know I can't give the recap <laughs> because apparently I don't remember. You remembered most of it. You were just wrong on stuff. Uh, last time on Bad Boys of Alexandria. Well, two the, last times ago. Two last times on Bad Boys of New Alexandria. I believe we left the school with Demos, gave him off to some agents who were definitely agents of the uh, Civil uh, Investigation Bureau that we're a part of that has a name that I will never ever learn. And then we went to go see Telamon, and he basically said, you didn't uh, even talk to Telemon. <laughs> we tried the I tried inside of my he head. Texted, I really he wanted texted. to talk to Telemon. Uh, we ended up I, I think after we we let go, we didn't know what to do next. So we wanted some guidance. So we went into the temple inside of the station and we went to our respective statues on who we follow. And then we I was told to keep it down. And then yeah. shut up, Tim. Uh, and then we uh prayed, got some guidance. And I don't even think we were told what to do, but we just left, I think. And then you found got out, and found out that the circus was coming to town. So we had to kill some time until the circus arrived in town because we know that the ringleader is somehow tied to the proprietor who may or may not owe debts to somebody. It was less of <laughs> you were trying to kill time. It was more like you suspected uh, Bion's wish he could, you know, get with pretend girlfriend who doesn't actually have any interest in him kina yet you tried to question her she tried to break your arm and we did go back to the school didn't we yeah you're still at the school so where we left two sessions ago gene simmons what, what? gene simmons yeah two gene simmons i remember my arm breaking and i experienced some trauma you didn't, and i chose to forget you, it you didn't get your arm broken almost yeah <laughs> It's still traumatic. He just makes all this shit up every single time. You asked me for the recap, and this is what you get. You did <laughs> yeah, this to yourself. That's true. That's true. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so where we left off, two Gene Simmonses. For those of you don't who don't know, that's two individuals with very very long tongues. Not to be Anything. confused with the other Simmons. Oh, Richard Simmons. Yeah, we had that who, discussion. Who I day. thought it was, and I thought that was a really weird flex. I yeah. guess he's got a tongue, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. You're going to send me down a rabbit hole Googling Richard Simmons' tongue. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Tell us who you are. You going to go by on? I don't care. Do you want to go first? Sure. Hi, I'm Tim with Geckos and Grottos d d also a member of the Geckos Media Network of podcasters. And we play a improv dnd ish type game on geckos and grottos dnd where rick is a guest sometimes and dan will also be a guest coming one up soon. time <laughs> well i don't understand why you're not asking to join the one with dan there's no open I slot mean, yeah baby i'm not gonna ask you <laughs> I, thought, I thought i was gonna be in your halloween special oh you should be in the halloween special it's gonna be it's gonna be epic 
I thought I yeah. was going to be in the Halloween special. You are also you are. in the Halloween. Well, we'll <laughs> actually, you know what? We're going to use your first guest episode slot as like an interview to see how you make out and how you do, and then we'll decide on if you're. Gonna it's probably going to be bad. Special. It's probably going to be He'll bad. Back out. Don't worry. He's not going to back out. He'll be in there. All the Halloween. Yep. So that's me in a nutshell. Check us out. Check us in Grotto's D&D. Uh, what's your website, Tim? Hmm? What's your website? You can check us out on geckosmedia.com or you can find us on Spotify, Apple, anywhere you get your podcast at Geckos and Grotto's d and Sweet. Dan, who are you? Dan. <laughs> who are you playing, Dan? Uh, Bion, the ever... Uh, Ever aloof, rich, dwarf, noble, cleric. I love how when we first made this character, you were like, Bion the Judicious. And then we've never called him that except for like one time. Bion the Bootylicious. I never said Judicious. That I said that was you. Dan, you're being called out for floor money in the chat. Just FYI. Who's calling out for floor money? The artist. <laughs> You know, there's nothing wrong with floor money. When you grow with no money, floor money is all the money and you take it. No shame. All money has been floor money at some point. Don't tell buy on that. <laughs> I just did. I actually late. do. He'll empty his entire purse and I can take all the floor money. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to introduce myself real quick. I'm Dungeon Master Rick. I'm the DM for Hammer of the Gods. Asshole roll on your eyes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so... If I'm not here streaming with these motherfuckers, um, a lot of times over on the back tear, um, trying to think. Oh, September 10th, there's going to be a uh, pretty exciting stream here on HamPod channel. So keep your eyes out for that. Don't worry, don't worry, Dan. You're not invited. <laughs> you were invited. You just didn't respond. So you're not in it now. Really? Wait, did I respond to that? Am I? Oh, is that the, is that the one I'm in? Yes. Yes. What the McFuck happened? You just didn't respond, so you. I don't you ever remember spot. seeing that, but whatever. Fuck you. I quit. I got the receipts. Don't worry. And it's gonna be it's so funny. much fun. You're gonna be so jealous. It's gonna be pretty pretty epic. Tim's gonna be very sexy in it the whole time. In fact, I, I'm doing in fact, I developed the character who's purely based on sex appeal. You know what? <laughs> Your stream isn't gonna get as many viewers as my stream on the tenth. So there. His That's fine. stream. That's fine. Do it. We're gonna have a stream off. I'm a stream anyway. so hard. Oh man, we're about to get kicked off of Twitch now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, September 10th, uh, I think 2 p.m. Central Standard-ish, somewhere in there, something like that. Um, Jesus, I just lost all of. Dan, you just you got me fucked up now. Um, did you so yeah. I just I don't even know when you discussed this. That's the problem. It's in there. Is it in Discord? Uh, Discord or Facebook? Discord. Yeah, uh, yeah. It might be too Eastern. I don't remember. I would have to go back. I have the receipts. I just don't want to dig through them right now. I don't believe you. Sometime, check our social media. We're at Hampod on everything except for Twitter, uh, because some asshole already had that mm. and hasn't been active in like five years. Thanks, Artemis. Yeah, it's 2 p.m. Eastern. I lied. Anyway, so that's on the 10th. And then, uh, oh, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, I think. On September 12th, I will be streaming on the Cantrips and Coffee. I'm going to be in their Spelljammer campaign every other Monday with Kayla from Potions and Potpourri and... <laughs> uh, Anyway, yeah, so that's me being distracted more than usual. So, last time we had uh, Bion's little flashback session, wrapping that up. And so, yeah, Bion, after you recalled your very first investigation, super successful, you discovered, uh, what was it, Improbable Quest 2? Improbable Quest 2, yes. Yeah, yeah, you discovered that that was a thing that was being put on for you because you're rich uh, right about the time that you came back to reality, came back to the present day where you are about to get blasted. So 
I need you both to roll initiative. Um, I think that's illegal, and I don't want to. Well, uh, mine is a natural twenty, and I'd be happy to show you. <laughs> mine is a nineteen. Oh, it just rolled. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I felt a roll. <laughs> So uh, I, I just want to give a quick shout out. These are the Old Men Rolling Dice Dice by Canadian Dice. And I got a nat 20 on my first roll of the night. So go check out Canadian Dice. All right. So we're losing this fight. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know. I got a 22, man. Don't count us out. But I do not have a single offensive spell. So yeah, who are You're we fighting? Uh, I suddenly become aware of my surroundings. Who are we fighting? Gene Simmons 1 and 2. Okay, long tongues. Yeah, yeah. Not Richard Simmons. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I need you both to roll a deck save. I hate deck saves. I mean, my initiative is plus one if that counts, or 21. Well, I mean, a nat 20 <laughs> still goes oh, first. Fuck. I mean, wait, no, I had, a, I had a nat 20 as well. That's a lot. <laughs> I showed you. I tried to show you. I rolled a... I rolled in that 20 plus one, so 21 with the net 20. So mm -hmm. I don't know if I, if that should change my need to do a deck saving throw or not. No, you have to do a deck saving throw. Anyway, our initiative has nothing to do with decks. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, well, I rolled a 20, an unnatural 20 for my deck save. Okay, Bion. Six. Nice. So Bion, you are gonna take the full force of Gene Simmons's fiery breath. Lick attack. Perfect. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not a lick attack. It's it's fire. They're shooting fire at you. All done. I just fucking had it and I lost it. Liar. I don't think shield is going to help me here. <clears throat> no, because I mean it's it's not a like hit to AC. No. All right, so Tim, you take half of nine. Bion, you take nine. Um, so you round down, so it's four. Tim. Oh, you are so generous. No, that's the rules is written. Wow, I've played a lot of games where rules are not written that way. <laughs> <laughs> you said nine? Yeah. Okay. Bion oh. down. Artemis left us. Yeah, a minute ago. <laughs> I already... Said by so, I don't, so I don't know about you, Bayon, but I'm almost dead, and I took half. Oh, I've, I have. I'm not almost dead. Oh, must be nice. To not be I'm not happy about it, but I'm not almost dead. So, Dan, what did you get for initiative? Uh, 19. Okay, cool. Take a toss. What are you doing? I'm really upset about what just happened here, and I <laughs> am going to. Uh, cast my magic missile at the one who Mr. Just... I have no offensive spells. It's literally all I have is a magic missile. So I will cast my magic missile at him. Uh, I, how many do the... I get three of those, right, for first level? So two plus four, six, six plus three is nine total damage. Okay. Say, is that you're just targeting one of them? Yes, all of them on to the one who fire breath this. Sweet. Uh, and then I say as a free action, why are you attacking us? They they don't respond. Do they appear enthralled by chance? I mean, you you definitely wouldn't be able to tell without a roll, but also you just used your turn, so next time. But my passive perception or investigation uh, doesn't count. Okay. No. Okay, okay, okay. You you don't have time to be passive right now. Oh yeah, I get I get <laughs> like a, like I get fire breath and then I just immediately spurn magic missiles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Bion, what are you doing? Um, <clears throat> panicking. Is no that... panic, no disco. <laughs> Is that fair? <laughs> yeah. Uh. I guess I 
I'm going to. Ca uh, I'm trying to remember what the name of the spell is. I don't have my spell book. In you front have of me. a hammer. Use it. I don't have a hammer. I have a club. Use that. It's the same thing. Uh, yeah. Let's let's yeah. Let's try to club them. Okay. I want to I want to club attack the one that's nearest to me. Uh, because I'm assuming he singed. They singed my beard. Probably a little bit, yeah. So I got a. Six. <laughs> Total. A lot of tonight. A lot of sixes tonight. I don't know how you guys use these online things. This is bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I could have helped so, you. I just realized that I'm also a bard, so I did get bardic inspiration. I should totally late. use it next time. Yeah, probably. So as you like swing at, uh, I'll say the one that's undamaged is the one that's slightly closer to you. Um, as as you swing at him, you just feel as his tongue licks your cheek and leaves a, a trail of slime. Yep. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. It's beautiful, right? All right. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you guys both need to roll deck saves again because they're going to try and fire blast you a second time. Not as good this time. A 11 plus 3, 14. Come on, Bind. You got this. The three. We're doing good. We're doing good. The goal is to get lower. I think I might have to send a message out to Kina to come help us. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, just kidding. I, I misread. They can't do it again. So, uh... Oh. Yeah. So they're actually both going to start running. So you each would get a uh, opportunity attack. This feels this feels like you're like, oh shit, I'm going to kill these guys if I don't stop now. That's what this no, feels like. Legitimately, it is on there. I, I just double checked. Well, I got an 11 on my attack roll. I got a 14 on my attack roll. Okay. The 14 does hit. Ooh. The 11's close, but not quite. So for damage, oh, I deal fuck. seven piercing damage. Fuck me. Okay. Are you going after the one who you had already roughed up? Correct. Yep. Okay. Um, he looks pretty pretty rough. Uh, so they run, I guess, thirty feet away. Yeah. Can I cast a spell? Uh, uh, like next turn, like as they're running away. Well, it, it's your turn now, so yes. Okay. I would like to cast sleep on an area centered around the weak one. I mean, they're right next to each other, so. Yeah, but I, I imagine it would take out the weakest one. So what do I got to do? First level spell, 20 feet, good. How many does I do? I, do? I love how you five, use the 5d8. Only level. a few. Yeah, you, you have to roll that. Yeah. Total of my 5d8 is 18. So starting with the lowest HP, they fall asleep. Okay, yeah. So you just, like, face plants into the ground. But the other one keeps going? Yep. Okay, good. That's all I cared about. Bion, I took one of them out. He's sleeping. We should detain him. Make him answer for his crimes against your beard. I don't even want to get close to him. He burned my beard. And look at his tongue. <laughs> Yeah, we should take him back to the precinct for questioning. So he obviously as, knows as what's going on. As you guys are discussing this, you hear like the screech of, uh, I mean, some kind of bird. You're not sure without rolling for it, but you hear like the screech of some kind of bird from above you. Hey, uh, Bion, I did you hear that? The, the giant bird that's above us. Yes, yes, I heard it. I am afraid to look up. Can you look up for me? <laughs> uh, I would like to look up and see if I can see the giant bird that may or may not be giant. Well, when you look up, it's not a bird. It's also not a plane. It is four griffins. What do you see, uh, Bion? Better run through the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny you say that because as... <laughs> you look up, you see that all four of them in perfect like diamond formation dive down. The lead one, you see that there is an armor-clad figure 
on that one and on the the like back of the diamond and they just like pounce on the one who is asleep oh i guess we're not taking him <laughs> well at least they didn't pounce on us touche i mean that's a good that's a good call it's it's uh can i can i wise... use a history check or something and see if i know who they are so are you getting any closer are you like keeping your distance what are you doing like how far away are we talking here like 25 feet yeah i'll go 15 feet okay so as you start to kind of close the distance a little bit you recognize another they're not they're not quite like tied into the bcip because the bcip is much more of like excuse me detecting protecting that sort of thing um you you recognize that these are what's called the grips which is short for the griffin protectors the grips mm -hmm. yeah like chips but do the bcip have beef with the grips i mean it's kind of like the, a rivalry like, type thing a rivalry but not like you guys aren't antagonistic <laughs> this does it look like from 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 the way the, the grips pounded on the one that fell asleep does it appear as if they are protecting or retreating them or as if they are apprehending them from a like, oh, like capture are they like are they aiding and abetting a... correct are they trying to help him or are they trying to arrest him well they they pounced and the, the griffin definitely had some like claws extended okay they're not he's together not, he's probably not dead but, but they're like, not together yeah You've they never don't scratch somebody you were with tim what <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> next podcast <laughs> too <laughs> drunk to roll <laughs> an x-rated explicit <laughs> podcast on the geckos media network <laughs> anyway so yeah no they they do not seem very friendly to these uh gene simmons impersonators uh, then I'm going to approach them then and say, I'm going to cast oh, Thunderbolt. No, but no, Bion. <laughs> Can I cast sleep on Bion? <laughs> do you have enough spell slots? I do have enough spell <laughs> slots, but I don't do that. I say, Bion, stop. Do you listen to oh, me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but like only a, because you said it so nicely. It's kind of like a Digimon. He's got to like yell his spell or his attack. <laughs> Thunderclap! <laughs> Thunderbolt! Thunder he, just he just starts working. Uh, Bion, um, they are trying to apprehend those Gene Simmons characters. We should probably go see what they know. Them being here means that they were probably on their tail for some reason, and I wonder if it has to do with why we're here, too. So, we should uh, Nick, speak Nick Atos, Nick Atos. Uh, I don't know if you understand what apprehend means, but it looks to me more like they're doing like an apprehending with those claws. Do, do you get what I'm saying, Nikitas? Do, do you understand? Well, if you kill them, they can just bring them back to life at the precinct. It's fine. Dan, I'm giving I, you negative inspiration. <laughs> I, I, I don't have Revivify. Revivify, yep. Well, we'll uh, figure it out. Anyway, so as you guys are kind of discussing what to do, Bion, you, you start to look back over and you see that there's a griffin face to face with you. Don't punch it, don't punch it, don't punch it. <laughs> don't punch it. I'm just going to make immediate eye contact because that's just... Well, there, there's no other option. Like, you turn yeah. and it's like there. Bion, I read about these in the books like... in our class about beasts. You're supposed to bow. Look at them dead in the eye and bow. No, what? Nikitas, who got the A in the class? It, I am bowing. Sure it was me. I am bowing to the griffin right now. He Tina is still right there with you and she's like, neither of you. I'm just going to, like, square up on it. I'm bowing. Okay. So, as you do this, the rider on this griffin um, just says, there you are. We've been trying to find you. Telemon sent us because you left without any kind of backup. <laughs> per the huge. We do not need backup. Right, Bion? I got your back and you got mine. Yeah, There's only the two only backs. Backup, the only backup I need rests underneath my hips. It's my ass. Yeah, back that Against up. my ass. 
And ass to ass, we cannot be defeated. Between the two of you, you have like one and a half asses because Bion has one and a half asses. Nikitas <laughs> well, Nikitas then uses his transformation abilities to give himself a 1.5 ass as well. Now we have three ass between two people. <laughs> and you say we need more backup. <laughs> so he just says, do, do you want the help or not? Because oh yeah, yeah, for, for sure. They they, they they tinged his that. beard and they did things to me that are unspeakable. So yes, I appreciate the backup. Nikitas <laughs> insisted that they broke his arm, but they didn't. Did you hear the recap? You should see my journal. <laughs> you can't it's 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 written very poorly because my arm is broken. It's all just stick figures, but now they're like <laughs> broken. All broke, yeah, they're all broken arms. His arm was broken, just like the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, we never had that. Yes, Lieutenant Dan, uh, that's your name, right? I appreciate yes, your yes. support here, and uh, thank you for helping us apprehend these criminals. Uh, we will take it from here, though. Thank you. And I try to walk past to go put cops on the uh, sleeping or now awake restrained. Uh, yeah. Gene they're Simmons they're very unconscious. Yeah, I'm going to put uh, uh, zip ties. So, oh, number one, no. Number two. <laughs> the other Eyes one is still is still like running away. Are you not gonna? Hey, we got this one. You should go get that one. And so the the rider just takes off their helmet and she says, "Look, in case you couldn't tell, there are two unoccupied griffins. We're here to help you. We are the backup." So are griffins like squad cars? Is that what I'm getting here? <laughs> I, I mean, take I take the hint. I mean, this is the first time I realized that it's an empty Griffin, and now I, I get the assignment. And Bion and I get on the same Griffin. I want to be riding. Bitch, I want to be. I want to be riding. I want to be riding in the back seat of the saddle. With my yeah, and I'm going to get in the front seat of the saddle because we're going to ride shotgun. So we're going to hop both hop on the the Griffin, the the more swole Griffin. I think that would be able to support us a bit better. Definitely the more swole. Mm -hmm. so, so we're we're going to hop on the swole Griffin first. Who gets on first? Me. Okay, so um, as you get on, running. and and they see Bion trying to hop on, <laughs> the the first one who had like incapacita bleh, incapacitated the sleeping guy on the ground, um, just comes over and is like, no, 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 that that's you're gonna you're gonna break it, break the Griffin. Yes, there there are two, there are two of you. Well, hold on, let me make myself smaller, and I make myself a bit smaller. <laughs> now it can easily hold both of us. No? It's a never-ending story, my friend. <laughs> they say, uh, well, I mean, the, there's a whole other griffin. Yeah, but we work better as a team. We can control together the single... The, I see the, where you're going. I will then run, run, run the pockets of the guy on the ground first. I'm like, all right, I'll get him the other griffin. But I want to run the pocket to the guy on the ground first, see if there's any... Um... Wait, you get off of the griffin you're on. <laughs> <laughs> I get off of the griffin I'm on, run the pockets of the guy on the ground, because I've realized a true investigator would find out who these guys are first, and then go to hop onto the other griffin. He doesn't have any pockets, and there's nothing else on him. I want to lean in close to the cop's head who told us that we can't ride together, and I'm going to ask him, do you know who I am? You say as... As you're a dwarf standing next to a dude <laughs> on a griffin. <laughs> so you are Listen. just about as far away from his head as you can Do be. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Listen, I'm Bion Alemaster. You should look at my record for most griffin accidents ever performed <laughs> in the training. Yeah, I, I think I heard that you had too much baklava. I once took a griffin into the forest. And the griffin left me because well, I was that's not a personal problem. Yeah, Bion, Bion, stop griffin there. Driver. As your attorney, I'm going to ask you to stop right there. <laughs> I tell you what, I walk over and I slap the griffin on its haunches. This bad boy could fit so many Bions on it. So, are you are you getting on the griffin, or are you? Yes, just... since we have to. <laughs> you don't have to. We're never going to finish this finale. No, never. Not even. <laughs> We're not going to let you. <laughs> the fake finale.
All right, I'm on a Griffin. I'm already flying. I get on I'm the actually, Griffin, I'm, and I immediately yeah. ride in the opposite direction of wherever I'm supposed to go. And I am actually heading to the other guy to try to subdue him the same the same exact way that the other one did to the first one. Okay. Uh, Rolling the animal. What? I just followed Nikitas. So what I learned from listening to Potions of Potpourri on skill checks is that animal handling is actually only used on domesticated animals. These are well, domesticated which, which animals. These are, but I never used it and knew that. And I found that a very fascinating takeaway from this. Also, thing. that's rules is written and fuck rules is written except for whenever I like. <laughs> <laughs> Their rules as, as I want to interpret them. Yeah, uh, I rolled a six cool. and I want to interpret a six as uh, I like to go as one is the highest number. And 20 as the lowest number. So a 6 is a, like a 14 in your realm. Well, if only you were the dungeon master right now. <laughs> it could did work say, that way in the land of Did you roll for animal handling? Yeah. <laughs> I got a 20. Did you? A natty 20. So mine's going backwards. <laughs> I did. I'll send you a picture. I don't know. I didn't know that you rolled. I don't have any. Because you, you said roll for animal handling, so I wouldn't roll. Yeah, I mean, I was talking to Tim, but yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. So, well, I assume since I'm also on a Griffin, I also have to handle it. Well, yeah, but I didn't know if you were you were doing the same thing. I know you said you were following Nick Toss. So, so he got a 20, I got a 6. I think between the both of us, we both passed. Yeah, I mean, if you no. average it out, that's what, so, 12? Well, in that case, you would not be doing as great. So what's going to happen is, Nick Toss, you, you, like, try to dive down, but you clearly – don't remember how to ride a griffin. This is and why so, I wanted to do a joint ride with my buddy Bion. So, like, yeah, as, as we together. To dive down, it keeps like flying back up a little bit, and you just you never quite like get closer to the ground. You actually somehow get farther from the ground every time you try to dive. All right, I take a one-hour montage to how to train your dragon soundtrack and fly off into the distance over the ocean and do a whole <laughs> thing about how I learned to master riding this dragon in an hour. And then I come back. If only it was a dragon. Anyway, bye on. So you pounce on this this dude. I'm riding side saddle, by the way. Cute. Very cute. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted everybody to know. Okay. So uh yeah, you, you pounce on him. What are you doing? Uh well my griffin pounced on him. I'm just on the griffin side saddle holding my reins like this. Being adorable. Being reins. Yeah. Uh, do I know the griffin's name? I mean, you can ask it. No, I'll just make one up. Uh, <laughs> Squ- <laughs> Car Ramrod. <laughs> hey, mine's name is Car Ramrod, too. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, now make sure, uh, I don't know what to do. I've never worked with a griffin before. This is very uncomfortable for me. <laughs> you're a natural i scream as i'm like doing backflips flying off hanging onto its tail uh, yeah, you were like barely hanging on at this point <laughs> i immediately so i were pounced on the criminal correct yep on the ground yep all right i jump off the griffin and i'm just screaming stay on the ground stay on the ground and i like oh, jump no. on the criminal as well and i start to like shackle his hands okay so you're you're like jumping on him to like not on him on him you're like jumping to like restrain him basically yes okay because when you said jumping on him like that's mm, that's not okay you you no no i have to put this in the you're report gonna be, on. yeah you're gonna be next to your buddy uh demetrios real soon doing that anyway so yeah you uh you shackle him now what uh i i, I call the griffin off ramrod ramrod Oh yeah, oh, I mean, boy! It, it already like as soon as you jumped off, it was just like standing over him. Perfect, perfect. All right, Ramrod, can you can you carry this criminal back to back to the rest of the squad? And just like grabs him by the back of his clothes. And also, can, can I get a lift back as well? And it just like shakes its head no. And that's okay. where I come in. I catapult to the ground really hard next to you. And I ask you, Bion, can you please get on and help me with this thing? <laughs> it's not like they taught us in school at all. Oh, I thought you meant like you by yourself. That's even funnier. 
retcon, I catapult to the ground, <laughs> leave an indent in the ground, and I look up, and, I, and then the, the griffin, my carbon rod, too, and then comes to the ground all, all delicate and graceful, and yeah. then I ask Bion to take control of my griffin because mine's broken. Bion, can don't, you I help don't... me with this one? A person who blames the tools... My good friend Nikitas. No, I'm He's a blaming smart my... person indeed. <laughs> yes, the tool is broken. Help me. I tell you what I did to get my griffin to fly right for me. I gave it a bitchin' name. Mine's <laughs> name is Car Ramrod 2. You didn't use Ramrod 2? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Amazing. Come here, Ramrod 2. So, nice. as, as you guys are talking, you just see that, like, the other two officers, they're both just kind of talking amongst themselves they each have like a little notepad and they're just scribbling and like, they can form their own opinions i don't care we're yeah, great you, cops you hear them like muttering and chuckling is this like we're basically like lethal weapon <laughs> but i'm worse. too old for this shit <laughs> but <worse. laughs> uh, um so are you gonna help me <laughs> with this script right. or not oh yeah uh how hmm I mean, if I get on the griffin and tame it, and then you get on the griffin and still roll it's like... Tame. It's already tamed. <laughs> no, these are wild griffins, DM. Oh, you don't yeah. understand. Yeah. Uh, I take this Not opportunity. Bad. I say, hey, Bion, you got this, right? And I walk back to the other two officers. I uh, I guess I jump on Ramrod 2. Okay. Uh, do I have to roll again? No. You were okay. just trying to do something fancy. Like, this is just just normal. I wasn't trying to do anything fancy. I was just riding. I mean, doing like a dive and trying to pounce on somebody, that's a little bit fancy. Okay, yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Do, do I have yeah, to roll do, do I have to roll on how well I walk back to the other two no. officers? Okay, no. good. Because you well, wants to walk back fancily. I want to walk too, back fancily, though. Like, too bad. So like Nick taking that Nick Nick Performance as, as, check, got it. As you are walking back, you are not rolling a performance check. It's fine. You're good. Yeah. You're walking. Casual. Roll to five, so okay. Yeah, uh, you're flying casual. Anyway, so you you hear that they're just like, how did these two ever get anything done? Oh, hey, yeah. So you ready to go? Mm-hmm. Can I ride with one of you guys? <laughs> There's just don't do anything stupid. Just just fly casual. I don't like it. Literally, literally, just fly casual. I really don't like it. No amount of encouragement, no amount of bargains, bardic inspiration, no words will make me able to ride that beast over there, that evil Nick creature. Nikitas, what if I give you some money? That might help. <laughs> <laughs> you just like casually drop some on the ground. Do you do you drop some floor money for me? Yeah, Here, here's ten floor money, Nikitas. I take but it I hand it to him instead of dropping it on the floor. And then I drop it on the floor and pick it up. Perfect. <laughs> I put it in my bag, and now I have the confidence to get back on the Griffin, and I, I get see. back on Car Ram Route too. Okay, so uh, you guys now have this. Well, these two suspects. Hey, just so everybody knows, we're both on Car Ram Route too. <laughs> <laughs> you tricked the DM. <laughs> no. I didn't mean to do that. I get off and get on Car Ram Route one. Because you flew it nicely, so yours is obviously nicer than mine. Well, Car Ramrod 1 is carrying Gene Simmons 2. And so am I. I'm so confused. I am I am now riding Gene Simmons 2 like, on Car Ramrod 1. You are riding Car Ramrod 2 with no Gene Simmons. Perfect. Yeah. And the Griffin's just like a little mama cat, you know, where it like picks up a little baby cat by the scruff of its neck. But this is like the scruff of its... Right. So do we split our differences and let them have Gene Simmons 1? We'll take Gene Simmons 2. They do their investigation and interrogation and we do ours back with Telemann at the home office. So they just say, like, why Why are you guys discussing this? Like, obviously you have a conscious suspect right there who can lead us to where we need to go. Right. We should investigate him or interrogate him here. Yeah. Car ram roll on, drop him. He's restrained right there, and he just drops him. All right, I so, jump off and continue to restrain him. Car ram on, restrain him. Take the giant restrained. talons down and hold him down, and I say, Yeah, I mean, he, he's like being watched over by this griffin, so. All he, right, I change my going. face. Mate, can I change my face real quick? 
I mean, yeah, that's that's what you do. Batman. Where is she? Where is she? I get up in his face. Can I roll <laughs> oh, a, is, that a, is it an intimidation like check? Batman. I'm going to roll my, my intimidation check. Uh, that is a 13. Plus 5, 18. Beautiful. So. Where is she? It's just like, who the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. Answer the question. Well, how am I going to answer it if you don't even know what you're asking? Who sent you? No. Who is he? Who are they? What? <laughs> Who are they? This is your worst interrogation ever, Tim. Someone help me. <laughs> Someone help me. Nikitas, you're asking the wrong questions. What question do I, I ask? And I stroll over. Listen, is the, is the person little? The little tongue guy? Just like a normal person. Perfect, they're tiny. Uh, listen, my little friend, uh, who's probably taller than I am, but anyway. Uh, and I squat down. Even Are they standing up or are they still laying on the ground? They're like... They're being pinned by the griffin. Well, the griffin's kind of just standing over them. They're like on their ass, basically. Kind of half setting up. Perfect. I go over and I take a seat next to him. Okay. Listen, my friend. We've, Good cop, bad cop. We... We've all been here. We've all been casting fireballs at another person, and then a griffin just comes out of nowhere and tackles us. But all we're trying to find out is why you uh, why you felt the need to throw your fireballs at us. So you singed my beard. He just doesn't say anything. Oh, the strong, silent type, huh? That's okay. Nikitas was the strong, silent type once as well. And then I pull out some coins and I just drop them on the ground right in front of his feet. Oh no, looks like there's some floor money there. I, I, I hope that you don't pick it up and then accidentally tell me who sent you. I pick it up and put it in my pocket. So <laughs> as, as you're trying to question him, you see that he just quickly pulls out a dagger and he like sticks his tongue out and just cuts it off. Just <laughs> one, one stroke. That was... That was quite uh, quite the display of uh, loyalty to your employer, my my long tongued friend. And I pick his tongue up, and then I can I like open his mouth and like heal it back onto him with healing touch. No, come on! Not quite how that works. Can but I sew I mean, it back on with medicine and then heal it? I mean, he is bleeding pretty profusely right now. Listen, listen, healing hand should fix his wound. What if, if I use stab, healing word? Gets stabbed, and I go over and I'm like, "Oh God, they're bleeding out!" And I'm like, "Healing hand." And it Wait, what if I speak really speak nothing to the tongue? Will the tongue then sinew itself back onto it? What if I, <laughs> what if I roll an 18 or higher? So, so that's not how that works. So that would be like a restoration. I'm uh, I don't sure roll a medicine that... check um, as long as I put it on ice <laughs> and try to sew it back in within the first five seconds. Anyway, I, I can do it. Hold I'm on, medicine check. Sure I'm pretty sure that would be a greater restoration. I could be wrong. It may not be. Either way, it's not important. I, mean, I ripped off more of his tongue with my medicine check. Beautiful. He is bleeding <laughs> out. Like, just there's blood pouring out of his Bye, mouth. I made it worse. I made it worse. I made it worse. I give him a notepad and say, and I write, who is your employer? Write it down, please. And Wait, he just didn't take... spits out blood all over your notepad. We did not take the knife away from him. <laughs> oh, hey, bye. Why are we even asking him questions? We obviously know he's part of the circus. We know he's here because he knows we're on to him and no know, he knows we're on to the proprietor and they're trying to shut us up before the circus gets here. We don't even need to ask him questions. We should just let him go. I think we should just kill him personally. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> like he would not like that. Oh, right, right. He's already yes, paid yes, for his right. crimes. He lost a tongue. He can't talk anymore. He can't he can't lick anyone anymore. That's a crime. That's that's punishment. And he just like points at his friend. So, you're right we should cut out maybe we should cut out his tongue too that that is the moral justice you are the, no that is but not just i i walk over to the other one i take the knife out of his hand and i get ready to cut off the other one's tongue and i say are you ready to talk or do you end up like your friend we cut his tongue off already and but don't soon, say that because then they're gonna think as, we did it as soon as you walk over there and you are like trying to do that Batman. one of the other cops just like punches you in the back of the head and is like do not do that it's, a, it's an intimidation tactic. I'm not actually going to cut his tongue off because, like, I see you taking notes. <laughs> yeah. So, so like, as you say that, he's like, "Look, I get that you're BCIP, but remember, that is 
protection. You are not a cop. You are not here to like brutalize people. That is not what <laughs> that's what that, cops do. No, that, is not what, that is not what the BCIP is about. I, you are I, not here to brutalize. Like even if these people attacked you, you are not here to brutalize, especially an unconscious person. Listen, it's listen, like, Linda. Listen, is, Linda. Listen, textbook. Linda. This is textbook. Linda, listen. No. I give him the knife. And he's like, thank God, you should never be trusted with weapons. And then I can't tell me about it. Uh, and then I walk over and I cast friends on the uh, on the other one that whose tongue is still intact. He's unconscious. I wake him up. He's unconscious. I wake him up. I think sleep as soon as you deal like one damage, he's, they wake up. He's not just asleep. He's unconscious. Oh, oh God! Hands on him. You are gonna make me. Yeah, buy on. Use sure. your. You use your like fancy hand touch thing. So on. the other the other grips member is like, look, I thought you understood. The whole reason why we came here is so you could fly to talk to the little furbo guy at the circus. The There's who? no wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did you just say? The fur who? Well, how do you know about the furball dude at the circus? Because Telamon sent us. We oh. should have stopped. We should have, instead of like doing our whole thing, Bio, we should have talked to Telamon first. <laughs> yeah, no, why would we ever, why would we ever do the logical thing? I don't know, but I still feel like the important thing is investigating this guy here. Can you touch him and wake him up, please? I don't know, DM, can I? I mean, yes, he's unconscious. But again, they're like, there's no need to question these uh, people. You, you, you do your job, we'll do our job. I don't tell you how to be a grips cowboy, okay? You don't tell me how to be a BCIP. We investigate our suspects. <sighs> these guys, am I right? These are, <laughs> these are not the important people. They're like, look, these are Bion, But you know what? You know what? They take Bion, Bion, They took notepads out on us. We're taking notepads out on them. Oh, they took a they took a suspect's knife. Have their prints all over it. They now contaminated evidence. So I, oh, it's point, all here. Like, all right, these guys are fucking incompetent, and they just take off. With or without the suspects? I mean, without. Also, but... did, did they leave Ramrod one and two? <laughs> no. Oh, God fuck. dang it! Damn it! Can uh, can we get the carriage? <laughs> <laughs> It's just like, what the fuck are you talking about? There's no carriage. Okay, on, let's, obviously let's when... okay, let's let's back it up. Let's back it up. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, so you need us to go? You wanted us to go talk to the furball at the at the circus, right? Yes. Are we, are we retconning here? <laughs> <laughs> I call it Retcon back. Retconning at mid game. But, you know, yeah, I cast so the gesture. I jump on car no, I, one I... and I start flying to the circus. <laughs> and then I also get on the same Griffin. Car ramrod one <laughs> and go to the surface, and we let the other two guys go free. Yeah, and also yeah, we send car ramrod back to the station because we don't need to. We only need one. So as, as you try to get on it, it cannot take off. <laughs> He's thwarting us at every turn. <laughs> I get off. Okay, okay, I start to take off very slowly. I, I get on car ramrod two, and I learned. I figured it out, and now we're both flying to the circus. Okay. No, we got to go see <laughs> Telemon first. <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to see Telemon first or not. You know what? Fuck it. Car Ram Ram two. You know, I'm putting in the GPS coordinates into my Car Ram Ram Uber, and I'm going to say circus. It'll take me to where I need to go. Furball guy at the circus, yes. Yes. It's a lift. Fast travel to He's the giving circus. me a lift. I have to put the address in for the lift. <laughs> Jesus. That's not how any of this works. Anyway. Oh, because you were around you know. in ancient Greece. Yes. <laughs> with the Griffins. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you know exactly so how this works. So you know from the flyer where the circus is going to be today. Like you, you yeah, would I know. Put the address in. All right. Anyway, I, I follow. On. I follow Bion because he obviously knows where it's at. <laughs> I mean, you both know how to get there. You guys, you guys have been in this area enough. You don't need GPS that doesn't exist. I mean, so. I was definitely using. I was definitely using Greek positioning services. So. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, how badly do you want to flip us off the Griffins and kill us right now? Um, well, <laughs> he wants to end the stream and retcon the future streams also. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're, they're, not future streams. They're already recorded. I can just delete them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you make your way towards the circus. Are you guys just like flying straight in? How are you approaching this? Oh, I take everything head on. You know that. 
Hey, Bayon, I'm gonna. I think we should go in a little bit more, like under under the radar. Under okay, he's in there. Okay. <laughs> Bayon, I am not gonna. Do, I'm not so gonna Bion, do that. I'm actually me, gonna park like. Bayon, tell me, tell me how you go in. I mean, it's like I just go flying down right, and like I kick my little griffin in the haunches so it screeches. So it sounds like screeching car tires, and I scream. I hit the ground, and like it like drifts around the corner, and I'm at the dude's tent. The dude's tent? The Furbolg's tent. The person's tent. Okay, so I mean, it's a, it's a great big circus tent. There's not like individual tents. Okay, well, I'm at, that, that's where I'm at then. I make okay. a very dramatic entrance for nobody to see. Oh, no, there, there's definitely people. Okay, did I look badass? Roll a performance check. Twelve. Yeah, kind of, I guess. Hey, that's better than no. <laughs> I, I inconspicuously park my griffin very casually, and I tie him up, and I uh, transfer myself into being, like, I look a lot for other patrons that are walking in, and then I look at another patron, and I copy their face, and then I walk in as them and tell them I paid oh, them, like, I'm... some floor money to not go to the circus. I walk towards the circus with a bland face on of another patron. To blend in. Okay. Okay. Is the griffin important? It might be. Well, you stay there. What if, some... you, what if you need to get out? All right. He's at the Panera Bread, and I walk into the circus and pay my floor money entry fee, and I am just an average spectator. Meanwhile, I'm a badass who just showed up on his griffin screeching from Hades. If Bion knows well, absolutely not who I am, I'd look like nothing like Bion's ever seen. It's probably true. Except for all of your clothes. <laughs> oh no, I shed them. He's naked. Naked? naked there clothes. was there was no there Can was I no make a persuasion them. check to <laughs> trade money for clothes? I mean, I'll just I'll just say that somebody's like, here, have this. Okay. No. Alright, I take some clothes that are not my clothes, and I look like another patron and I walk in so buy on won't recognize me as a cop. Okay. A fake cop. You're not a fake cop. You're not a cop at all. Protector. Protector. We're, we're badass protector. Protector. Jesus. Who are we? What are we? BCIP? What are we? We're not cops. What are we? Well, you're a detective. Cops. I'm undercover from my own partner. They're private investigators. That's still a detective. It's yeah, you can call me a private dick. Dick Tracy. At your service. Anyway, we're moving on from that. So okay, fine. I have an excuse. I've been drinking a lot of alcohol tonight, and I walk into this circus very drunk. What's your excuse? <laughs> uh, I just woke up feeling spicy today. I don't know. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Byron, what are you doing? Uh, do I notice Nikitas, even though I don't know what he looks like anymore? I mean, he's he's behind you. He's behind me. Well, because you said you were like going right in, right? Well, I'm, I'm still sitting on my griffin. Like, in my head, oh. I'm, like, sitting there on my griffin, like, hello. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, walk, like, I walk right past him, pay my yeah, little concessions don't. entry fee, and I just walk right in as just a normal person to attend the circus. Yeah, you don't recognize him. <laughs> I don't recognize Bion. <laughs> no, I was talking to Bion, Jesus. Selective amnesia. I'm like, who the fuck is that guy? Right? And I'm like talking to the other people like, who the fuck is that? No, who rides in on a badass? Is this, is this, is this cool. part of the anyway, show? Did you see that 12 the, the, performance? The, 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 what are you doing? Oh, I paid my ticket. I get some cotton yeah. candy. And I'm eating my cotton candy. And I pocket some M&Ms and some peanuts in my pockets. All, all things that they didn't have. So mm, I don't know. Okay, I buy some baklava with some chocolate. And anyway, I mix it together and make my own thing. And then I, I, I go to the concessions. I go to the concessions. I get some food. And I just act like a normal patron. And I just want to get into the show and start investigating what's going on around me. And I also want to ask at the cashier's office if there is a VIP pass that allows backstage access. Is that available? I have lots of floor money. They just stare at you. They're like, are you stupid? Yes. No, yeah, but you, I don't, whatever helps me get the, what I want. Yes? That, that doesn't exist. 
I am special, and I have a, I'm a very important person. Here well, you, you look pretty dumb right now. Well, I use a minor illusion to create a VIP pass that may or may not work to get me backstage. Uh, security? Buy on. <laughs> All right, I'm fine. I'm, not, I'm just going to eat my peanut butter, my you peanut butter, whatever, you and eat it. You can't I'm just, just going to go inside. I'm just going inside and eating my cotton candy and peanuts. You wouldn't Jesus. sign without me, and I don't even know who you, who you are anymore. All, all I see is the security hassling some stranger. <laughs> this, was a, this was a brilliant plan if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I just walk in. Oh, you know what? I take it all back. I tried to get my VIP pass. We're going to retcon the last 10 minutes again. You, you know, they you don't, don't get nope. retcon and you guys have already used They don't it. offer one. I accept <laughs> that. I just say thank you for my ticket and I go to my seat and I just eat my yeah, no, so candy. Security, and... security is escorting you out. <sighs> you guys used your retcon. If you really want to go this route, Rick, fine. I get escorted out. I take another face, and I offer more money for different clothes, and I walk back in, and this time I don't mention VIP, and I just get my normal ticket, and I go sit in my normal seat, but I still have cotton candy and peanuts. So there's still nothing unusual going on. It is just a circus. I'm and enjoying myself. You know, you know that previously you never saw this furbolg. You never saw him at all, actually. Only Bion saw him, and only whenever they were packing everything up. He was not part of the show. He was not, like, he has nothing to do with any of that. He is the proprietor. He does not, like, get on stage. He's he's not, like, out there. He's not a performer. Can I do an invest? So most proprietors, from what I know as modern-day Tim, is that I'm sure they would want to see the show, maybe from, like a like a like, a special box office or something like that, where they are overlooking from a special seat to see their enterprise in front of them do i see anybody who stands out like with a special seat or do i see a fur i'm sure a fur ball would stand out in general are they a part of anything watching the spectacle they're, that's happening fur ball, they're, they're not like an unusual they're not rare okay rick let's go back two thousand years you're telling me that fur balls are pretty common yeah in greece <laughs> we're not in greece ha we're in new greece okay new alexandria new greece. In fantasy greece anyway yeah I haven't he's not there i understand yet, okay nikitas is stealing the spotlight and i enjoy it uh well you may go my own because all i'm doing is watching the show that you're missing how good's the show rick how good's the show it seems a little bit uh less good than normal hmm. is why. there any froggy wrestling this time is kina like, around uh, is kina here Nope. No froggy wrestling. Wait. No froggy wrestling. No Kina. This the circus is a joke. Obviously, with that, obviously we made some dent because their circus performance sucks now. So we did something. Was it was it good or protection? Debatable. Oh, is that what we're here to do? Allegedly. To good and protect. Well, we saved Demos. I mean, we did a little bit of good. Bion, what are you doing? Yes. Uh, I'd like to slide off of my griffin, car ramrod one. Okay. Um, and, you know, just... Nope, nope. You were on car ramrod two. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. Fine. Car ramrod two. Because I have car ramrod one. of the car red. ramrods. Okay. What, what are you doing after you slide off? Oh. <laughs> I thought Tim was there. You what? Okay, sorry, I thought Tim was saying something. Okay. So no, you're good. <laughs> Not this, is all you, this is you. I slide off Car Ramrod 2 and I uh, give it a little scruffle behind the ears. And then I, or, well, I guess it's a griffin, so it doesn't really have, well, I, eagles have ear holes. And, I mean, it's also part lion. It's got little cat ears. Perfect. Yeah, a little scruffle behind the ears. And I, I tell, thank you for your service, Car Ramrod 2. And then I uh, shuffle on up to the to the gate, and I, uh, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to get kicked out if I ask to speak to the furbolg or not. <laughs> I, I got kicked out once already. <laughs> oh, I, I know what I do. I asked, I tell them, uh, is your, is your boss, do I remember the boss's name from whenever we first met the first time? I don't think I ever named him, so, sure. Perfect. Uh, what's his name now? I don't know. Uh, is, is Sawyer the Furbolg around? 
feel like I, I don't know. I mean, if you're looking for the boss, so you said the boss. Uh, yeah. What, what business do you have with him? We're old friends. We uh, we traveled together very briefly a while back, and I just I wanted to uh, reach out reach out to him and kind of touch base. And as you say that, you see a familiar face. Is it the Baklava, Baklava Bandit? <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! And he's just like, hey man, I remember you. Hey yeah man, and like I like throw him a. Do I have any Baklava in my purse still? Do you have any Baklava? Come okay. on. I know that was a dumb question, but I wanted to make sure. I'm like, hey man, uh, where, uh, where, where, <clears throat> and I clear my throat. Where, uh, where, where's your boss that we that we hung out with that one time? Uh, well, I think he's in the back, man. Cool. You want to take me back there? We can have some baklava while we're walking. And I like oh, pull fuck it out, yeah, man. Pull it out and give him a bite while he, I'm assuming, leads me to the to the back. Yeah, I mean, he he takes a sweet ass time. Can, like I sending stone, to, can I sending stone to Nikitas a message and let him know? Sure. Are you okay. are you going to try and do it sneakily, or are you just, like, openly doing it? Uh, let's try and do it sneaky. Okay. Roll me a sleight of hand. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Twelve. I mean, you know, he's not super observant, so, yeah. Okay. I send him a sending stone message, or whatever it's called, telling him to, uh, to tell the guards at the front that he'd like to speak with the boss. Um... That he knows the dwarf that just went back to the, that he's friends with the dwarf and the Baklava bandit. What did you just say? <laughs> uh, you told me to go to the front and say I'm with the dwarf who had the Baklava? Yes, yes. Going back to meet the boss. Got it. I understand. Got it. Roger that. Hello! My name is K K Kara. And I was told to meet the Go back into the back with the dwarf who had the baklava. I'm dressed as a female, by the way. A I, second generation. Thank you for clarifying. Mm -hmm. uh, Very so, cute, yeah, by the way. Thank you. They're just like, okay, you weirdo. Just, thank just, you. I'm not weirdo. Go, I'm a weirdo. Go, like, <laughs> and they, they like point out and like. Oh, thank you. Like, Take some go. floor money. I learned from I uh, learned from buying the tips go a long way. <laughs> I toss two gold pieces to him. Thank you. Bye. And uh, I guess I follow along, and I guess I see Bion up ahead, and I like scurry up in my skirt, and I'm like, "Hey, Bion, it's me, Kara slash." <laughs> Definitely <laughs> that all along. <laughs> and oh, you, you probably you probably could tell that it was Nekatos earlier, but you're just like, okay. He needs this. It's, it's like a female cool. with like a blank face. <laughs> it's, yeah. the same, it's the same cop face it's like always even, been. Even the first one who went in, you're like, he just this guy needs a win right now. So I'm just gonna pretend like I don't recognize him. Well, I'd like to think of the first time I was so wrapped up in how badass I looked landing my griffin that I didn't even notice. Yeah. And I didn't notice either because I was so wrapped up in how he entered as well that I forgot to actually change my face. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Mr. Bion, where are we going? Oh, uh, yes. What? Oh, I was going to say, the uh, the Baklava band, it was like, who the fuck is this, man? I'm his lover. The, uh, the, yeah, yeah, buddy, don't don't worry, I promise. that The, bo the boss knows knows her, too. It'll, it'll be fine. I'm his it's lover, like, too. I don't know, man. Listen, I'll give you some more Baklava. Let's just keep traveling. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. So he, he leads you back to your uh, former, not quite friend, acquaintance, the uh, furball proprietor. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, Furby! Jesus. <laughs> He's just like, oh, fuck. This guy again. My friend! And like, I walk up with my hand up to shake his hand. He's like, I hoped you died when I kicked you off that wagon. Perfect! And I just kind of like, you know, like I acted like I wasn't trying to shake his hand, like I tried to pull it off, like I was just, you know, dusting my hands the whole time. Oh, no, let me introduce you to my friend. This is Kara. You, you guys met once, I believe. Oh, hello. He's just like, I've never seen this ugly person. I'm... He's just like, what the fuck do you want? Why are you here? Why are you alive? I'm. On? Why are you here? And what the fuck are you? He said we're all going to have a good time tonight. 
So All right, we're Cara, here. I think I, Cara, for a good time. Car, Cara toss. I think <laughs> yes. the jig is up. I think it's just just. I think the jig is up. Okay. <laughs> Batman again. No kidding. <laughs> Regular Nikitas. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I am Nikitas. You're under arrest, Ferberlicious. Ferberlicious definitious. He's like, you have nothing to arrest me for. I have plenty to arrest you on. I have a friend named Demos who I got back who pointed you out as the culprit. He most definitely did not. I look over at Bion and I'm like, remember that that is not what what Demos said. But when I say that, what is his reaction? But when I say that, what is his reaction? So as you say that, you roll a perception check. Both of us or just him? Just him. Damn it. 18 plus 321. Okay, so you, you notice, but like he reaches under his desk and like touches something, and then you hear a commotion, and two security guards come in, these big bugbears. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fergalicious. Listen, listen, listen. The gig is up. We are with the BCIP. Sure, my badge. We got Demos. We know what you're doing. We know what the circus is doing. You don't got to bring your security people in here. We don't need to get violent. I just need answers. Give me the right answers, and we can all walk out of here. You know that that is neither what Demos said nor what Keenan said. Like, neither one of them implicated the Furbo. They just said that he is the proprietor, and there was shady shit that went on, but he didn't, like, especially Kina said, because she was more familiar with what's going on in the circus. She's like, shady shit was going on, but the Furbolg wasn't involved. Like, he's a good guy. He just had some, like, debts and things like that, and so he kind of had to turn a blind eye to some things, but he wasn't. I wrote that the ringleader owed debts to the proprietor. Maybe I wrote it backwards. The proprietor owes debts to the ringleader. Nikitos, a moment, if you will. Excuse me? You're getting hot-headed. Please step to the side. What do we do? Do we want to be friends with the proprietor? Do we think he... Yes, no, we don't think the... We don't... No, we're not implicating the proprietor in anything. And I look back over at the verbal, and I'm like, we know that you're not guilty. We just also know that you're not totally innocent. We can make you totally innocent if you uh, help us out. He's like, I thought you guys were BCIP. I thought you guys were about justice. That, we are about that justice. Is not justice. See, sometimes with moral justice, it is two wrongs sometimes make a right. He's like, that the law says I stuff. can arrest you right now. Two wrongs don't make two lefts don't make a right, but three lefts do. And he's like, Sir, you, you clearly know nothing about the law. Okay, I don't. Okay, I, but no. but hear me out here. Listen, you're doing this show, you owe people a lot of money. They're doing some shady shit. It's getting a lot of attention from the press as well as the police. And there's a lot of innocent people who are being affected by it. I can absolve you if you help me. Moral justice will prevail if you help us shut down this evil operation. Right so, now, you so he, are a part of it by being complicit. But so if he you help bring notepad. it down, you can he become grabs Like, sir, are you a judge? Because yes. if not, you're a judge. Okay, right, sat down. He's like, Lied about being a judge. I am not. Why am I lying a judge? I was given authority by my goddess to help judge people based on the law, moral law, rather. He's the another thing. He's the written law, whatever. But I like, I am an advocate and an agent of my goddess. And this is where she has appointed me. And right now, you are what's standing in between us getting justice and not getting justice. (laughs) <laughs> and I don't want to have to kill you. So he says, Listen. Oh, he go says, ahead. Hold on. He says, look, you came in here, made false accusations, threatened me. You guys should not be BCIP. Like, this is not just, this is illegal. This is harassment. Okay. So he, just, he just says, if you guys could come in here and, like, ask me questions instead of making accusations, I, I probably could have given you more information. Okay, give me one second. I cast suggestion at second level, and my keyword is forget. Um, So, (laughs) before you do that, I need you to roll initiative. Just you. Hey, it's not me, all right. 18, 17 plus 1. Okay, so, I mean, you you cast this spell, 
But as soon as you do, one of these Furbolg is going to beat you over the head with its club. So you are going to take. Before that happens, I say, bio, this isn't going my way. <laughs> yeah, you, you take nine damage. Okay, fuck. This isn't going well. We should have took a more diplomatic approach, Bion. Yeah, we, we should have. <laughs> we went so around it. All right, I think it hits me in the head. Uh, I cry a little bit as I hit the ground, and I'm, like, literally weeping in pain. And I say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm authentic in this moment. Look I'm really you. sorry. Oh, tears. These are real tears. <laughs> <laughs> we made we made real Tim and fake Tim. Cry. Listen, Furbalicious. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, if that's your real name, I'm sorry. Listen, we're we're just we've had a really long night. We we fought some some Gene Simmons long tongue people before this, and <laughs> like we just we just want this to be over. Our friend Demos, he's lost half of his body. His brother's in jail for murdering somebody. I don't even know. Maybe he even did it. And and I could really use your help right now. Please, please point us in the right direction. <laughs> My head really hurts. Jesus, he's just like, would you would you get off the ground and stop crying? My God, <laughs> this is normal for Nick Tells. I'm sorry. <laughs> I believe that he's friends with you. Um, so, <laughs> Good one, so, my friend. So, so what do you, what do you say? Um, can, can you help us? I mean, we'll keep your we'll help keep your operation alive, and we'll make sure you're absolved of everything. We just really need your help. We just want to shut down this evil. We don't want you to be a part of the evil. We don't want to be a part of the evil. We want to do everything we can to put it to an end. And he just I'm really crying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I like I said. We made real and fake Tim cry tonight. <laughs> That's some goddamn acting right there. I'm a method actor. I, it's great because now he's cried twice. Once from like real emotions, once from like faking emotions. <laughs> uh, so he just he just like starts to walk away, but you notice that there's a, a scroll on the desk that wasn't there before. I pick it up. Bon, you should read that. I can't see it between these tears. I pick it up and I open it. And I... Can I read it? Yeah. Do I know the language, I mean? Yeah, yeah. It, it's not like a secret code or anything. So, as you open it, you see that there is a map. Oh, and shit. You can, you can read the map. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and, and it is leading to this, like, large, seemingly, well, for Bion, Bion looking at this, you're like, that's a very small house. Probably a very poor person lives there. Nikitas, once you stop crying and you look at it, you're like, holy shit, that is a huge house. Probably that's a really the biggest nice house. Point. I Probably could fit like a hundred of my hovels in there. But Bion, your house is way bigger. My house is ridiculously big. It's annoyingly big, honestly. I have yeah. an apartment. I have like a condo overlooking the city. Nikitas, you can come live with me. No, 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 no. You can have like six rooms to yourself. I earned this condo. You earned my friendship, my friend. All right, and I man. slap him on the back. You know what? I take it. I'm taking your offer. I took your floor money. I take your six rooms. Thank you. And so as you guys are having this discussion, both of you like get lifted up each by a different bugbear, and they just, like, carry you out, and then they shut the tent flap. Hey, Bion, um, that was really uncomfortable. Um, do you have a spare spare set of clothes? The skirt feels really uncomfortable. I, I don't have any any clothes, but I have more money. Does that do anything? Um, not really, but Nikitas? this is the invention of the kilt. A man <laughs> accidentally wore a skirt once, a and chitin is basically the equivalent of a dress, so no. This is the invention of pants. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, anyway, so this this map, as as you're looking at it, you know it's this large house, um, and you see that there is a, a note scrawled on there that suggests that this may be like where the the furball has to go like whenever he has to deal with some shady characters who he may or may not owe money to do you think Bayon, we had that we should go to this location and camp out 
for as long a rest as we can possibly get. And maybe seven hours, maybe eight hours, and we just keep a lookout and see if the fur bug goes there to deal with some transactions of sorts to some particular people of interest. Here's what I think, Nikitas. I think you're too emotionally invested in this case and you should return to headquarters. I am very much in pain with very little health points left. <laughs> yes, I, I believe we should probably go to this house and uh, go ahead and How about extract this? justice. You go to the house and you do look out. I will go back to your my new six rooms and I will take a long rest. And you call me on the sending stone should something pop off. And I will be there within... 20 to 30 minutes. So looking at this map, you know that there, there's a fair amount of distance between where you are currently and where that is because it's closer to the capital. You guys had to fly a little ways, you know, a couple hours to get here. Hey. So you know that in between, there is a lot of just kind of wilderness, a lot of places where you could potentially camp and rest. Hey, Bion, I have a griffin still um, covering rod one. He's over at the Panera Bread. We could, in theory, hop on him. Well, I think we learned this only. That was the week one. They can't carry two of us. Perhaps I can, one flies you there and then comes back to get me. And when it comes back to get me, I just sleep for seven hours. And then I come greet you. You, you definitely passed his griffin as you went in. And Oh, wait, wait. I thought, I thought you were sending your griffin away. Is the griffin still there? No, no, my, my, mine's still there. Oh, okay. We have two griffins. You were the one who tried to chase your griffin off. What, what if you what if you sleep on the griffin and I hold its reins next to my griffin? Yeah, can we do that? I really need a long rest as all that's happening. I mean, the, the flight isn't long enough to get a long rest, but you guys could absolutely rest on the way. Like, in between there, you could stop and rest. Yeah, yeah we want to do auto that. Auto fly. We'll be okay. <laughs> auto you auto, auto before, travel. You would get there before you have finished a long rest. It doesn't take that long. Can We can just long rest there. Right, we can just fly there, long rest, and look, and just listen up. He's not going to let us something. long rest. No, I'm telling face. you, I'm got, long, if I don't long I'm rest, we are not completing this rest. mission. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can long rest. You just can't do it on the way there because it, it is not long enough for that. But can we and, do it while we're there? You can better long rest now. We're going to long rest now. We're actually going to go back we to Bion's place. The, the parking lot of the Panera Bread. No, so, we're going <laughs> to. So Bion's home is further away than this place that you're going. But we have like, a griffin. Like, isn't, 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 isn't like a griffin span, like, like distance, like nothing because the flies? Yeah, but I mean, it still took you a couple of hours to get here. On griffin? Yes. All right, we're going to find an inn. You got floor money. I got floor money. We'll find an inn and we'll just there, rest it No, th there's wilderness in between. What do you want? Do I just hit leave studio? For the... So you just let it keep going. Are you sure? Yeah, well, you just cut it when you need to cut it. Okay. Bye-bye! Hello! Bye-bye! What's happening in here? <laughs> We're playing Dungeons and Dragons! <laughs> I'm crying! Yeah, it's so get emotional! Out, oh my, you're so drunk already? Yes! <laughs> get out of my room, Mom! Everyone's crying! I have never realized All how right. fluffy Tim's hair is. Conspiracy Happy Hour is here. Hello! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's my second favorite podcast! <laughs> We're going to the inn. Go have fun. They didn't hear me. They, they, I didn't hear you yeah. either. Um, we are. Oh, that's right. Because it was coming. I said, "Hey, it's the people from my second favorite podcast," but they didn't hear me. Dad said you're his second favorite podcast. This is the best stream we've ever done. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh wait, they said you're their second favorite person. Wait a second. <laughs> anyway, we're moving on from that. You guys can long rest. There's not like an in in between there. Well, Do I have my tent? Yeah. I have that big like magic tent. Do you have a magic tent? Yeah, it's like a Harry Potter tent, but less terrible because of the creator. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll, you know, say it's sorry, probably, uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? This just skip some hours. I'm going to take a long rest wherever you will let me take a long rest. And I'm ready for <laughs> yeah. the morning to go wherever. Tim doesn't want to negotiate goes. anymore. I'm not negotiating. I'm telling you, you can take a long rest. There's no ifs, ands, it. or buts about that. I pressed the button twice. I long rested. I am I am more energetic now and less crying than ever. And buy on. You get on Car Ram Rod 2. I will get on Car Ram Rod 1, and we will go to this fucking house. But you're Let's still crying a little. Still crying a little bit. Am I? 
It was, it's still a little wet. I have wet eyes. Naturally. Anyway. All right. So you guys take your long rest, and then are you just headed straight to the, uh, the place? Yes. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So, uh, again, how are you guys approaching? Should we, I mean, <laughs> should we do Gukka Pickle? Wailing sirens, <laughs> drifting into the doorway. Well, your approach worked out way better than my approach last time, so maybe Screeching Eagles this is the best way to go in. Wait, I could also make us invisible and walk in together. Can you make us invisible? I thought it was one target. Well, Mr. Rick, if I cast it at a second level, I can make it me and another target. Okay. Let's not do that. Hang on. Don't be casting nothing yet. Okay. Let's let's think this through. As we're flying over, can we observe any guards or anything? Anything Yeah. Can we investigate from the air? Flying in the clouds? There's a, lot, there's a lot of, like, people coming and going. And as you're kind of, like, flying around, uh, just some casual arrows start to fly. <laughs> casually. You just casually shoot arrows. At- we casually dodge Very them. Casually. Very casually. Oh, this one caught me in the neck. <laughs> it was so casual. Casually. Yeah. Uh, is this like casual, casual arrows or like business? So, casual? so by it, I say we just take a take a, let's just take a dip over here outside of town. All right, we fly. There, there's no town. This is this is like a house that's remote. All right, well, we are in the woods somewhere that's remote outside of it, and we just park our horses or mm-hmm. our griffins, and um, by on. I got a good visual Wait. of some of the people entering and leaving that town. I could probably t- turn it's myself into town. one of them. Just a house. This house that is a town. I think we should sit. Oh, wait, Nikitas, think. Do you yes. have your sending stone? I do. Does it have service? Yes. <laughs> you should. We need to send messages for backup with these coordinates to Telamon. No, no, no. I have the direct line to our buddies of our grips. So we can just have them come. Either way, we need to get backup over here, I think. All right. <sighs> calling all grips, calling all grips. We would like some backup located at GPS coordinates. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Over. This is Nikitas and Bayon. Um, <laughs> this is, <laughs> this, like is, this, is real, this is a real request. Um, over and out. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, you, you just get like a couple of words back. It says uh, you're not a cop. Uh, they're, they're, they're on their way. All right, let's hurry in. Um, we could do two things. I can impersonate one of the people coming in and out. We could like just observe one and go back in and pretend like I'm bringing you in as a person of interest of some sort. We can go in invisible, or we can go in as cops. Doesn't it seem more likely that I would be bringing you in as a person of interest? No, because I can literally be anybody who's walking in, and I can go in as the furball, and you can be Damn. my person of interest. That's true. But what if we see the furball while we're in there? Uh, the chances, the literal chances of the three seconds we're walking in as he's walking out within a 24-hour period are so fucking rare that if it happens, I will kill the furball myself. Never doubt, never doubt the humor of the DM. I mean, the gods. So I will now, I like that plan. I'm going to assume the form of the furball and I'm going to work, walk by on into the house and he will be somebody who is interested in joining the operation because he's got lots of money to finance. So roll a roll a performance to see how well you can imitate this furball. I would like to give myself bardic inspiration. You can really do this, Nikitas. This is you can do I don't this. Think you can you do can this. Give yourself. I think it has to be someone else. Uh well let's read it. How about that? It says other than yourself. <laughs> but I like to think of myself when I get into my personas. I like to no. think I'm another person. No, no, no. <laughs> Fuck. A Damn, Tim, you're you're real good at this, Tim. Sixteen plus three, nineteen. I'll take it. So, <laughs> b- is nineteen good? Is nineteen good? I mean, you know the numbers, yes. I think it's okay. Uh, I mean, I I asked Bion actually. How do I? How do I look? You look like the Furbolg from the circus. Fergalicious. That sounds nothing like him. <laughs> I'm Fergalicious. That's that's not his name. His name is Sawyer. Let me write that down. So, so <laughs> that's not his name. Don't write that down. So, 
saltier. You, you, said you're leading, you said you're leading by on in though. Yeah, he he's got money. We're, I'm going to bring him in. The, their ploy is going to be he's an investor, and he's got lots of money to finance the circus and operations for his own gain. But he's got lots of money to help our goal. So I'm going to go in as the furbog, and invest and invite him in as a as an uh, as an investor. Okay, so. Bion, hide anything of yours that shows your badge. In fact, leave your badge here. I take his badge and throw it in the dirt. You're not a cop today. You were undercover. Or a cop ever. You were never a cop. We were not a fact, we were never a cop, so this should be easy. Okay, so as you start to like lead Bion up to this house, as soon as you get anywhere near it, guards surround you with weapons drawn and like blades at your throat. Um, oh, don't you worry, my dear friend Bion. This is the normal courtesy they extend any visitors to the great house of the circus. Um, excuse me, little guards. We would like to go see the man in charge, if you know what I mean. We have very yeah, important so, business like, to take care of. So, like, while you're talking, before you even finish, you hear, why the fuck are you here? Coming from the house. And you see a dark figure. Like, they are, they are silhouetted. Well, dark figure, you'd be happy to know I have a very prominent figure of the town here who has lots of money to help out our operation. And you told me to only come here with good information and positive things. And this is a positive thing you should check out. No, I told you if you come here again, I'll kill you. Well, you said those things. I thought you were just that's just things that's just a thing people say. No one really means it. I I that I took that as I need to come back with something worth it to you for you not to kill me. I just I can't stay away. You know this. This is this is me. For delicious or saw you or whatever. Yeah, this is me. You know me. Yeah, so he says get rid of him. Whoa, 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 whoa. But before you do this, can did you at least my friend Bion, show him the money. Show him the goods. Show him the goods. He has not floor money. Mm -hmm. Do we recognize the person at the house by chance? Uh, he's silhouetted. You can't. You can't see like any details. Even my friend, you are used to seeing all of what? this floor money. This is real money we're talking about. What did you say, Dan? I, I said I can't tell even with my eagle eyes. Correct. Can I? Okay. Uh, I elbow Nikitas in the in the ribs to get him to, to stop talking for a minute. Ow! Bam! <laughs> Nikitas, just a moment. Yes. My lord, my lord. And I raise my hand and I kind of start to walk, take a couple steps forward. And show you're not in it. Like, as you try to step forward, these blades are digging into you. <laughs> go yes. deeper, go deeper, go deeper. They need to see your commitment. They need to see blood. That feels great. Yes, I, I love a good, I love a good sticking. My lord, I, I have something to show you if, you, if you would be so kind. He says, I told you to kill them. So, we're going to roll initiative. Oh! There's no winning this. I didn't even get the chance to roll performance or persuasion. I can tell she got his kill. I thought this was a great plan, actually. <laughs> I thought of you, all you of we've ever everything. did, I honestly thought this was the one truly in like ingenuous plan we've ever came up with. And it got us killed immediately. I rolled a four. I also <laughs> rolled a four. <laughs> we're, we're dead. What are the totals? Four rows. What are the totals? Four. Four. Jesus, neither of you has any decks. Three plus Why one. Negative three. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> three plus one, four. Seven okay. minus three, four. So, uh, as, as you guys are like about to try and defend yourselves, you hear the screeching of eagles again. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> God. Ah! <laughs> they got our plea. And Gene Simmons just, like, one and two. As they as they swoop down, one of them kind of lands, and they like lift off these henchmen, and the one who lands takes off her helmet and says, "Yeah, we were actually waiting for you guys. We we knew eventually you'd get here." So, oh no, it's the Popo. We should totally run. We are totally not a part of them. We're not with them. Yeah, no, um, they Nick definitely. Toss, the gig is up. Yeah, they they definitely know. And I draw my baton ready to crack some skulls. And I take out my rapier and I am ready to fake fight. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. All right. So, uh, what are you guys doing? 
I'm rushing the boss. I'm also rushing the boss with my four. Amazing. Cool. So uh, as you get up there, it just like poofs and uh, like wisp of smoke. He wasn't even fucking real. And so I as, bet it's as, the he does, bandit. as he does this, you hear you come into my home. You try to pull off that piss poor intimidation. This persuasion. Fake. This fake show trying to convince me. And then you come in here and try to intimidate me with what? Some fucking birds? That wasn't planned, okay? We tried to actually come in here and bribe you with real money. He was actually going to be an investor. You fucked up a great opportunity. The birds, they, they fucked up our plan, actually. So I, jing- I jingled my current coin purse very loudly. He, we wanted to make money. We were all in for this. The birds, I admit, they fucked everything up. I'm with you on this. And they're not birds, they're griffins. <laughs> yeah, fucking birds. Yeah, fucking birds. Come on, Bion. At one point, lion, lions fucked some birds, I think, and that's how that happened. Something. Somebody yeah, we could all agree. We're friends now. The point being, we're here to bring you to justice. By justice, I mean just give us some truth and we may let you live. We'll definitely let you live. Yeah, because my goddess won't let me kill you. Mine will. And you, you, just okay. hear, you just hear him like echoing with his menacing laughter. You, can, can I roll? Can, can I roll some sort of check, whether it be history, religion, or perception, or investigation, of some sort to to identify the 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 genome or species of this person? This you've not been able to. You've not been able to like see anything. And but by the, the voice, no. Does it sound like a dragonborn? Does it sound yeah. like a lizard folk? Does it sound it just, like a it dwarf? It sounds like this this deep menacing voice sound like a man you sound not sure. like a man you're not sure talk like a man okay All it's right. the baklava okay. bandit we narrowed it down it's a man with a deep voice well i mean we're here we you can we, we can fight you or we can work together i'll kill like by and i will kill these other two cops because we're not cops they will I be the first to tell you like- they will be the first to tell you we're not well, cops. You disappeared when you tried to do that, Dan. I did what? You disappeared on Zoom when you You're tried like, to Oh, did that? <laughs> we will so kill them. We will nerf those out. cops so quick to prove to you that we are serious about our investment with your company. We will not kill the Griffin cops. We, by on moral justice, greater good. The law is the law. No, greater good is the law. So, I, as you're doing this, Nick Toss, what's your AC? Fuck! Shield it? I shield it? I mean, what's your AC? 13. Okay. So, you hear, because it, it kind of makes like a, a like a poof sound as he disappeared initially, and you hear that same sound behind you. Oh, hello. So but you come you to manage, talk. You manage to, like, dodge out of the way as he tries to stab you in the Whoa! Face. This is not how negotiations work. We're business partners. We don't want to fight you. He says, we are nothing but enemies. Why? We have money. We know all about your operation. We could be so beneficial to you. You could be beneficial. I live in literally a single, a single room hut. I live in a it's hut. A- and this this person says, I don't care about money. Money means nothing. Power means everything. Okay, I work with the the BCIP. You know how much power I have? Do you have none. Power? Do you, you don't you, you have none. You don't you don't you don't mean that you don't mean that. You he don't says, you don't mean he says, that you have no power compared to the power of chaos. Entropy I am chaos and I turn said, myself he says entropy is the inevitable state of the universe. Okay, you read that in a book somewhere. I can read books too. All right, I can, can do you? what you do. Can you, Nigatos? 
All right, we're doing this. We're fighting. Bion, kill him. Uh, actually, that's my bardic I, inspiration. I actually cast bardic inspiration and say kill him to inspire him to do that. So I'm going yeah, so to. So I, I do use need. That. I do need you both to roll again, though, because you tied. So we gotta figure out who's gonna go first. Well, I have a plus one dexterity. But that doesn't matter. You guys got the same number all together. Well, <laughs> I rolled a natural twenty on that one. It's a twenty-one. It's him. Are you sure? <laughs> it's I, yeah, I got an eight. So. That's very close. It's very close. So, Nikitas, you're actually up first. Uh, bonus action. Kill him, Bion, please, is my bardic inspiration. And I will attempt. This is. I gotta whip out all of the best things here. So, I am going to cast. Honestly, probably Bane. I'm gonna cast Bane on him and the guards that are out front that are engaged with the other. Uh, they, um, were, they were carried off. They were what? They were carried off by the Oh, so it's just by on me and the villain? Yep. Or the hooded figure? I'm just going to cast uh, Bane then on him. They're not hooded. Oh, who is it? Can you describe them a little bit to us? Not yet. Tell me what your Bane does. Uh, he has to make a charisma saving throw. Of 13. Or? He must make a roll of d4 on the next roll he takes... Okay, so subtracts what does the D4 do? What? What does the D4 do? Oh, it subtracts off of his roll from his attack roll or oh, saving okay. throw. It's like the opposite of bless. So just for his next turn? Uh, yes. Target must roll a D4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll or saving throw. Okay, so what if you rolled a 19? Then I wasted my beam. And I say, I'm cool. Cool. It's not a total waste. You tried. I tried. I tried. Yeah. Uh, my turn's over. Okay. Bye, on. Uh, I can't. I don't have my character sheet in front of me. So there's that. Uh, yeah, bardic inspiration though. You add a one d six to whatever you want to do. The spell oh. that I have that's the thunder clap spell. So actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's go ahead and end for tonight. We'll <laughs> come back and do another one. That way you have your character sheet next time. It that just, way you can actually that way you can actually like do stuff. Damn, somehow we did it. Stuff. Somehow we bullshitted enough to honestly make this not be the last episode of the year. Uh, also, we did it. We, we, we did it. Have, we could have made it work, but you know, due to Tell me where like, we went wrong, Rick. Tell me where we went wrong. Everywhere. <laughs> I don't remember anything already. So many ways. So, yeah, anyway, that's where we're going to end the session. We're going to end with the end of Tim's turn. Uh, we'll pick back up with Bion once he has his character sheet. Um, yeah, so we'll be back in two weeks for uh, the actual finale, allegedly. <laughs> I know most of the things. You know what, though? If Rick really wanted this to be the finale, he would have gotten us here sooner. He led us. He led us around the rigmarole. He led us do this. <laughs> He wanted this to go on one more episode. He's, did I, he's stringing us all along. Did I, though? Or did I try to give you a plot hook and you're like, no, <laughs> I don't want that plot well, hook. Well, you, all you had to do was say, okay, the both of you can get on that single griffin. And if and you would have let been... that one thing happen, <laughs> Bion would have already murdered this guy who's in front of us with a deep have voice. Gone in the totally opposite direction of what nope. I want. No, we nope. wouldn't have. No, we wouldn't nope. have. We the nope. we would have. If we would have wrote the same Griffin, this whole anyway. thing would be over right now. Anyway, I would have never had to dress as a female and try to per give myself a female persona. There is nothing wrong with dressing however you want. That is okay, Nikitas. Anyway, no, but I had a really horrible voice that everyone anyway. has to hear now. Tim, Tim, tell us who you are. Hi, I'm Tim with Geckos and Grottos d and I'm also part of Geckos Media, and if you would like to hear more of myself, I play a character called Tinker Gadget on Geckos and Grottos, and you should also check out a lot of the awesome podcasts on the Geckos Media Network. Thank you. Dan, how are you? Hey, I'm Dan, and I'm going to be guesting on Geckos and Grottos Media soon. It's going to be happening one of these days. They keep telling me they keep pushing me along, pushing me off. Uh, also getting ready to start my own podcast called... Uh, Cheap Shot Movie Reviews. Sorry, I had to think of the name <laughs> of it. Hold on, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> I'm not in front of my regular computer, so everything's kind of kind of wonky. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's that's who I am. Nice. And I'm a regular on Hampod. 
Hey, like, Dungeon Daddy Rick, tell us who you are. Yeah, Dungeon Daddy Rick, come on you, down. You already, you already said my name, so there you go. The end. <laughs> it's rude. Yeah, There's no, no so that's I'm, not cool at all. Rick. Yeah, I'm Dungeon Master Rick. I am uh, the uh, wrangler of these two fucking goons, as well as the rest of the uh, Hammer of the Gods crew. So, yeah, join us here again in two weeks while we allegedly finish this arc. We will do it next time. <laughs> we'll see. For sure. All right. We see will. you guys. Bye, guys.